Hello everybody. Um, we're now in the forest. Um, it's near that old brewery again. And I've got my first target so we can see what it is. Okay, let's see. Could be junk to a 79. Uh, <laughs> yes. That's the most obvious fight you can do in a forest. A shotgun a shell. Okay, on to the next. First decent find in the forest, an old buckle, a copper one, of part of an old buckle. I don't know, but it's certainly 100 years old, I think. Maybe older, I don't know. Okay, on to the next. Found the first coin of the day. Yes, and it's a zinc war money from the Second World War. 1941 10 cents Holland Here you see the tulips Okay, nice On to the next Second coin It's a uh, 1 cent From Holland A Willem cent, but it's so worn It's nothing anymore Okay, on to the next Sent from Belgium, very, very worn. Okay, the third one. I paint silver today. Okay. An 82 sharp. And I have to say, I changed my settings to 7 kilohertz because I'm hunting on pasture and it gives a little more depth. Normally I hunt on hot, an old bullet with some panache on the back. Okay, on to the next. Ligt wel een zoektocht. Ja, dat is wel mooi. And the silver plated spoon. Now I can eat soup tonight. Maar eens kijken. The real red Four coin, a zinc, five cent. Early 1900s. Nothing special. Okay. On to the next. Iron in the boat too. I found an 
port from the 1700s in reasonable shape. Reasonable, I say. And 1600s. I'm gonna clean it and repair it. Alright, it's a nice one. Crest intact. Six, 1600s. Mid 1600s. Okay, nice. Day two on another field um, because yeah, I only search once a week at the old brewery and the finds were not that great so I thought the day after I go hunting on a, a field. I have my first decent uh, signal ringing uh, 77 and we're going to see what it is. Piece of junk, aluminium scrap. An 88, very sharp. Could be aluminium too on this field. It's not so great, but it sounds very promising. Yes, I see, but it's not silver. It's a Doit overrace, old 17. 63. Okay, nice. Do it. <laughs> On to the next. Found it right here in the sur on the surface. 25 cent. It's a nickel from 1970. It's probably coming from out of that ditch there. Uh, yearly they clean it up and they, they throw it on the field. Cool. An iron buckle, it sounded like uh, the nickel 25 cent, it has that same uh, good signal attached with an iron buzzer to it, but it was sounding higher this, uh, 95, okay on to the next, a 87, Oh, very sharp one, the Zelandia doit. I don't know if you can see it. Seventeen sixty-eight. Okay, nice. On to the next. An 82, I thought, or an 81, but in the cloth, it's very sharp. This is the other one. Damn it. No, it's not a coin. Actually again, I think I have a piece of silver because it weighs a lot and it's beginning to shine. And it's decorated, it's not a, a buckle. I have to clean it at home. Okay, looks promising. It weighs about, I think, 7 or 8 grams, 6, 7. Okay, we'll see at home. Further, a lovely button, copper one. Uh, 87, very sharp and short. Could it be? But it's 
Sinbad having a uh, swing is so high, it's so short. It's a half cent, I think, from early 1800s, but I'm not sure. You'll see that at home. Oh, an old shackle, iron, but it's nice. I know it's old. I look back on the center field. An 88. And it started to rain. Yay. Maybe it's junk, but here on the old field, my heart beats a little bit harder when I have an 88. Out. Uh, still not have brought me another pinpoint. It's a coin, yes, but it's not so bad. I think it's a doit. Here the copper ones are always very bad. Uh, yes, it's a doit. I think, yes, very worn. Okay, on to the next.